Space, the final frontier. My name is Captain Foley, and these are my adventures. Well guys, in downtown London, Ontario, I'm about to go into one of my favorite sh uh, stores, Heroes. Uh, it's a big, huge comic book store and collectible store. I've been in here for a while. Uh, there's a few things I was looking to get. Maybe I'll see if I can find them. I'll give you guys kind of a quick overview of the, sh of the sh store. It is pretty uh, large, so we'll get try to get as much footage in as we can. And uh, hopefully you guys will really enjoy it. And hopefully I find something I can pick up, but not too expensive. I don't want to spend too much money. Um, so anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. So guys, once you're in, it's uh, got quite a few collectibles and statuettes and things right by the front door. You can see a lot of Star Wars stuff there. On the other side, you've got G.I. Joe action figures. Um, got a huge Darth Vader up there. There's also a lot of Star Wars figures on that wall. Tons of Funko Pops lining this store. The store is very deep. It doesn't look big from the outside, but it's actually quite huge. Again, some more of those collectible figures there. And of course, comics. There's comics everywhere in this place. This place is huge. You could spend hours in here and keep finding goodies and treasures. Lots of toys and action figures. Battlestar Galactica, some Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, Avengers. Lots of graphic novels as well. And the way they've got them laid out is pretty nice. Again, a wall, a sea of comics. An end cap full of all Star Wars merchandise here. Uh, this is a great place to find stuff that you're looking for. More Star Wars right opposite that one, which is cool. Lots of Transformers as well. Uh, they also have some old school ones in one of the cases that we'll see later. Um, some Power Rangers stuff there. More Transformers down there. A lot of older toys too that they've they have. A bunch of alien and predator stuff. Ghostbusters. A lot more alien stuff. Kinda glad Sylvia wasn't with me. She'd be wanting to pick up a lot of these things. She's a huge alien fan. And down here is some Star Trek stuff, some stuff I've been looking for. There's the Captain Kirk from McFarland Toys and the Captain Picard. I've been looking for these for a while. These are a good price, so I'm going to snag them up. There's an original Tasha Yar figure. The Walking Dead figures. Never really got into Walking Dead. The Stranger Things guys dressed in their Ghostbusters uniforms. That was kind of cool. So if you're a comic book junkie, this is the place to be. Or just toys in general. So much to look at here. I wish I could give you a more comprehensive tour, but like I said, it would take hours to really go through this place. Um, yeah, a lot more graphic novels. Art books. Random people. <laughs> it, was a, it was a Saturday, so... Like a Mecha Godzilla. That's cool. Some manga books. And the stairs leading up to the upstairs, which we'll get to in just a second. Walls of Funko Pops. Lots of Funko Pops. Again, a lot more graphic novels. Living Dead Dolls. Boxes and boxes of old Bat comics. Coming up is the wall that I really like. This is like a lot of their vintage stuff. You got a lot of nice uh, statues in there. A lot of older Transformers, older G.I. Joe stuff. Even some reissues from Toys R Us there at the top. The G.I. Joe headquarters. 
original Star Wars stuff with original packaging, which is cool. Some 12 inch Star Wars figures, a B Wing. Again, lots of cool statuettes and collectibles. I found a lot of these things are a little overpriced, but that's the nature of the game. Got a Sky Striker down there, a Thanos glove. Some original Masters of the Universe figures. Again, those Star Wars ones with the boxes are really nice. Place to go take your old stuff if you want to trade it in. You don't get the best deals, I guess, but that's, again, the nature of the the beast. So there we got some original Mego Star Trek figures, original He-Man on Battle Cat. Lots of little court cardboard standees and stuff. Here's Yoda. Hmm. Cool this store is. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, that's that's really bad. Anyway, we're heading on up now to the upper level. Heroes, heroes. It says heroes everywhere. Here we got a lot more cool stuff. Um it's a lot of random stuff. There's art books over there you see the sign for. Uh clocks, collectibles. Heroes, again, I told you it's everywhere. But that's all their old signage from all the years that they've been in operation. Lots of battle, or we got clicks, whatever the game is. Um, actions, uh, games. And there is a look at the store from the upper level. It is quite deep and quite large. Very jam-packed, too. Kind of disorganized in some spots, but they just kind of, they get so much stock in that they... Have to put it somewhere. Simpsons figures. Oh, there's some tricorders there in the box. Which are nice. Have that one already. Um, there's some more of those art books. So many good things. Assassin's Creed figures. Mortal Kombat. It just goes on and on and on, guys. Um, again, tons of graphic novels. Tons of back issues of comics. All just lined up. I didn't have the patience to go through and look at all of them. But uh, it would have been cool. Only had about two hours to kill. So I thought I'd just go in there and take a look around. This is my second walkthrough of the store. The first one was up without the camera. Then I thought I'd document all this stuff for you guys. Because make a good captain's log there's some of the um, Ghostbusters figures uh, there's some of the Star Trek stuff there's a Star Trek Kelvin Kirk figure which I'm thinking of getting actually and the Kelvin Spock as well which are Diamond Select figures then we got the Diamond Select Khan which I have upstairs in my ready room as well as the Kirk and Khan battle set also have that one as well. I've done reviews on those. If you guys want to check out those reviews, please check out any of my Captain Foley reviews. They're fun to do, and I love that you guys enjoy them as well. Funko Pops. I don't know why these are a thing, but there they are. Uh, these are really cool. A lot of these figures. There's the Phantom of the Opera there, which I really like. These are the um, uh, Reflex, I think, figures. There's a Robotech figure there. And heading back down the stairs. The original audio for this was kind of drawl. <laughs> there was nothing going on or being said, so I thought I'd do a voiceover. Um, hopefully you guys appreciate it. Like, look at this. Look at these huge oversized books that they have here. Like, look at those ones at the top. They're huge. Batman figures. A whole bunch of original Star Wars figures and stuff all carded um, up there. You got a huge Silver Surfer. An X-Wing kite. Yeah. I mean, there's ET. Yeah, like, that's a comedy, but it's Battles, or, uh, Thundercats figures. Lots of Mego figures as well. More Star Wars. Planes, trains, and automobiles, guys. Every action figure and or accessory you can think of is pretty much there. So that's really cool. Um <laughs> Batman. Lots and lots and lots and lots of Batman stuff. But Batman's a pretty popular dude. There's some Superman as well. 
I got some of those figures. Again, done some reviews on some of those as well. Bins of loose figures. Uh, a lot of good G.I. Joe stuff there for my buddy uh, Greg. He's a huge collector of uh, G.I. Joe. It's a lot of figures and uh, vehicles there. There's one hanging up there. Again, boxes of figures, wrestling figures. They're broken up into different categories, of course. Lots of artwork. And graphic novels, again, all broken up into different um, publishers and things. I felt kind of self-conscious going around the store just filming everything, but it's what I do. It's what I do for you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Heroes, again, it says that just so you know where you are. Uh, there's more G.I. Joe fig or vehicles as well. So, Greg, you need to like message me and give me a thank you for showing you those. Tons of Lego figures. Like, look at all these Lego action figures. It's Lego army there. A lot more stuff back at the back. There's another Sky Striker, which was really beat up, by the way. Various random stuff there. Good guy dolls and horror action figures. Some random dude with a toque. Lots more Star Trek or Star Wars figures here. Uh, both new and old, kind of all mixed together. Uh, a lot of the Black series as well. Of course, they got cards, gaming cards, as well as sports cards, which I really have no interest in. So, but I thought you guys might show them a little bit. Just random stuff. More Star Wars as well. It's one of the end caps I showed you earlier, but from a, the, the other side, so you get to see a little bit more. Again, more figures. Lots of Star Wars figures. If you guys want to freeze on anything and take a look, please do. I didn't want to dwell too long. It would have taken too long to do this video. Uh, but... Yeah. Um, lots of cool stuff up at the top there are full, full size figures and stuff and again there's the, the whole store from near the front from the cache Another, other display cases full of statues and really nice expensive um, figurines. There's a great God of War up there. There's Spider Man doing his thing. Uh, here are the cases that have the original Transformers in them. There's a ton of those. I'm a huge Transformers fan, so. Then again, a lot of these are overpriced, as I said. I mean, you can probably try to wheel and deal, but I kind of hate doing that. There's more figures down there. Huge store, huge store. And then transitioning to the f more of these figures in the cases. These were the ones when you first came in. I didn't get a good look at them first time, so I got them second time around. You can see some full size Jason up there. There's a bunch of the original uh, uh, Star Wars figures, all in baggies, and G.I. Joe as well. So if, pretty much if you are looking for it, they'll have it or probably know where to get it. This is such a great store and it's been such a London staple for so long. But uh, anyway, I made my purchase already, so I am going to call it quits and go up to the car now and we'll continue the video. All right, guys, just left Heroes there and uh, picked myself up some goodies, which I don't have my bracket in the car for the camera right now. So I'll show you the goodies right now. Um, the store is huge. Um, I kind of want to do a captain's log on the store one day, maybe talk to the owner and see if we can get some like a guided tour. There's so much to see, you can't see it all. <laughs> you can spend hours in there and still not see everything. They got a lot of cool vintage uh, toys though. Um, of course, comics, 
uh, and a lot of new stuff as well. So it's a fantastic store. Uh, it's kind of a Lond London staple, a London hallmark. Um, and it's moved a few times. This is a huge location. The other location that was at before that, this was not that big. So this one is fantastic. Um, I, like I said, it is one of my favorite stores, but I hardly ever get down here. I hardly ever get downtown London. Um, but today is special because this is the weekend of the Junos and the Juno Awards. Because Juno, you know, that's what they do. Um, so I dropped off Sylvia and Cassie. They got uh, special passes uh, because Sylvia's company works um, is one of the sponsors uh, she won these passes to this pre-show where they get to meet all of the celebrities all the singers and everything that's in the Junos so I dropped them off like a few blocks away thought while I was downtown why not come and show you guys heroes and maybe pick something up so I did pick something up we're gonna take a look at that right now so here's the first thing that I picked up it is the uh, Captain Kirk uh, with the phaser, phaser rifle. There you go, Bradley Thomas. There's, see, I got your name right this time. Um, these are good likenesses. I've been looking for these and I haven't been able to find them. Finally found them today. So there's Kirk and Picard there. Looks like they have uh, Burnham and Spot coming soon, as well as hopefully the phaser. And um, these are made by McFarland Toys. So they do a fantastic job of these. Like I said, that's a pretty good likeness of Kirk. I might even do a, a review of this um, figure soon. Even the texture on the, on the shirt is great. So I got that one. And I also picked up uh, Picard as well. They had both of them. They only had like one Picard that I could see though. And they had about... 10 Kirks. Um, so Picard here, he comes with the phaser and the flute and the engage hand. But the, the styling on these is fantastic and the likenesses are really good. So, yeah. So those are the two that I picked up today. And of course, there were a bunch of other things in there as well that I saw that I really wanted to get some vintage stuff. Uh, there was a Sky Striker, a G.I. Joe Sky Striker. I need to get a new one. Mine's damaged, my original one. It's the front landing gear's broken and a few other things, but um, didn't have the, the cash or whatever for it today, but that's fine. Um, I just wanted to kind of take a look and show you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, I plan on doing a captain's log there at some point in the future, um, but... We'll have to see how that goes, um, just because I'd have to contact the owner and stuff and make sure that it's fine with him. Uh, he's a good guy. So I've I've talked to him a few times. He's a little bit gruff at times, so it, it might be a tough sell, but I think it's worth it. So anyway, guys, I don't know what else is going to be included in this captain's log. If anything, this was really impromptu, but if not, if this isn't the complete captain's log, it'll be included in another one. So I just wanted to share all that with you guys. So if you're in London, Ontario, check out Heroes. It's definitely worth a visit. You will be overwhelmed. Plan to have at least two hours in there and a lot of money in your bank account because you're going to see stuff you want and you're not going to see everything. There's no way you can. So anyway, that's it for this right now. I'll see you soon. Bye guys. While I'm down downtown and still have like an hour to kill, I'm going to check out City Lights Bookshops, another one of uh, London's staples here. Um, City Lights Bookshop. Uh, great place to uh, get some really cool books for some good prices, so let's go take a look. Thank you. 
So this place reminds me of the bookstore in Free Enterprise where they meet William Shatner and sure enough, here I am meeting William Shatner, the man himself. Don't go up to him and act like an idiot. Respect his space. I do respect his space. It's the final frontier. Why must you go up to him and make a fool of yourself? People have been doing that since the beginning of time. Because now, it's my turn. Not exact quotes from the movie, but pretty close. Um, but yeah, awesome scene. And Shatner's back here protecting the sci-fi books. Great series of books, guys. Um, Dragon Riders of Pern Chronicles by Anne McCaffrey. I suggest getting them. All right, uh. Dragon Flight, Dragon Quest, and the White Dragon. Those are the ones to start with. And then there's other ones that were written. Dragon Riders of Pern is a fantastic series. Highly recommended, guys, uh, from me. I've read all of them. I'm looking forward to them doing a movie of them sometime, and they have the technology now they can do it, or a TV show. That'd be great. So check it out. Captain Foley recommended. And also while down here by City Lights, we're going to go to... LA Mood comic book collectible shop. So check it out. I got something at uh, the bookstore and I'll show you that in a minute. Well, just finished up at LA Mood and didn't find anything there. It's kind of typical. They're more of a gaming store. Uh, so Warhammer and stuff like that, which I'm not really into. So let's get back to the car and take a look at what I got. So guys, back in the car, across from the London Music Hall. And speaking of halls, I got my own hall. Let's check that out. Now, I love the kind of lost era of Star Trek canon. The Fassi years, the Starfleet Battles years, all that cool stuff. All the stuff that made my canon. That was my head canon before Enterprise came out. So... I might have overpaid for this, but that's okay. I got from the files of Starfleet Command, and this is Admiral uh, Hincharo uh, Nagura. So Admiral Nagura's um, classified documents. Paid 15 bucks. It's not a lot. It's just like fan-made, uh, printed on like with a Xerox machine um, kind of thing. We're going to take a look at it. And uh, this was the stuff that was amazing back in the day. The fans that contributed the time to develop this stuff. Um, so this stuff's great to find. It's it's good to have in the archives, kind of save it, kind of, you know, build up a collection. Plus it's great for Trek yards to flesh things out. So let's take a look at this and see what we got in here. So here we go, from the files of Starfleet Command. Notice, this is a hard copy of selected materials taken from data files of Starfleet Command computer network. So enter command communication, intelligence, talk about the Klingon Empire internal arrangement. Uh, the old regime 
a regime Kalos. This talks about the Klingon and Romulan star empires. Romulan. Refitting the Constitution class. That's what the refit process when it started. All the changes that were made. This would be good for an episode just to kind of focus on this material. Approved revisions for the heavy cruiser. Propulsion, weapons and defense, support facilities and equipment. So, the lithium energized antimatter main propulsion unit, pulsed warp drive external. That's nice. The interiors of the main propulsion unit. Secondary propulsion. So impulse reaction control systems, the new thrusters. Uh, there's the new, uh, the new the photon torpedo launch system. Talks about the phasers over here. Defensive systems. So there's a tractor beam emitter right underneath the photon torpedo launcher, apparently. Engineering main deck. Engineering main deck from the side there. Hangar deck. Work bee. Cargo container, long range shuttle. Docking mechanism. Thruster suits. Duty wardrobe. So this is obviously just post the motion picture. Shoulder bars. A purse scan unit. Personal medical monitor. That's what the belt buckles were. That's cool. Uh, motion picture era tricorder, which we don't see very much of. The wrist communicators. That's it, so not much to it, probably overpaid, but that's just cool to have in the files, you know, so there you go, guys. So I still have a little bit of time to kill. There's nothing really else down here. Um, the library is up the road a little bit. I might go see the check out the library, but I kind of doubt it, to be honest. Uh, I got a good parking spot here right across from your house, so it was good to, to wander downtown. Um, but... Let me know, guys. Would you like to see uh, Captain's Logs specifically on, like, old documents like that? Kind of getting a feel for what they say and, you know, some things that have maybe changed since then and how they've been retconned and which is better, the old school or the new school. You need to let me know what you want to see, guys, because I'd like to do some more Captain's Logs like that. I think that'd be really fun <clears throat> and educational, informative. Plus, like I said, it's documenting that part of history. I got some lens flares here. Check that out. Yeah, the lens is just dirty but um but anyway guys that's it for this downtown london trip like i said i'm not sure if it's going to be bookend by a captain's log or if it's going to be its own captain's log i just don't know at this point because i did not plan on doing this but i couldn't do all this cool stuff without including you guys and sharing it with you guys because it's what i love to do and you guys are awesome so anyway i'll talk to you soon until next time guys i'm captain foley Bye bye